This week on Twende, we embark on an epic journey. We do an exclusively camel safari. We get close to nature and eh, like nature try to get too close to us. This is the closest I have been to a buffalo while walking. We show you the experience of camp life. I get to put up my first house. Have you ever seen the Elementita sunrise? shortage continues to bite across the country following a statement between the government and oil marketing companies. This week has been dominated by fuel shortages that got me thinking. See, we can have a safari without petrol. We have taken you to exciting destinations, but all of them have been with the use of saturated hydrocarbons that have been produced from oil. So our researchers at Twende were tasked with finding an alternative to diesel. Ndo show you as a kuendelea, ata kukikua kuna mafuta. So tuko katikati ya Gilgil na Nakuru, place called Soisambu, we're about to board a ship. Na, najua mnauliza maji kwa api, but see, easy ship ya kawaida. The ship of the desert. Sema. Salamu sana. Habari. Salamu kapsa. Uyu hata nipiga. Yeah, awesu kupiga. Kwa sawa. Habari ya njini. Mzuri sana. Eh, hey, tuko tayari. Okay. Eh, yeah. tasi tuko salama. Uh -huh. Kuna mbaya. Hii tandiko pia, yeah. hii ndio tutatumia kwa mzigo. Kuna hii oh. kutumia kwa riding kama hiyo, uh -huh. hii ndio ya riding. Yeah. Sasa hii ni ya kuweka mzigo, unafunga maji, yeah. mzigo kama hii. Oh, okay. Eh. Yeah. So, Na sasa uko uzito inaweza beba ka Inaweza beba 120, 120 kg. Kilo kilogram sana. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wandati, yeah. temko 120. Yeah. Sasa, yeah. sambia funga, funge. Mm. Sasa huwa tunapak, yeah. tunafunga hivi. Lazima wakati tunafunga, yeah. tunaangalia balance. Oh, okay. Bandi yungi ni sikuwe msito. Ipande. Eh, Ikuwe sawa na hiyo bandi yungi. Ipi ya muneka? Okay. Uyunga mia pia na hitu macheria. Oh, uwe na hitu macheria? Jina yeke na hitu macheria. Oh, macheria. Eh, Nambake ni 540. 540. Yeah. Kama ndege? Kama ndege. <laughs> Ngisa yungi ni? Tu masheria, tu. Sasa ni kukasirika, amekasirika. Ah, hiyo ni kulia yake tu sauti. Oh. Eh, sasa, yeah. sasa hii ni kamba kufunga, uh -huh. toka na kutembea. Na kuamka tu ni ataji ya msha ama? Mkaambie hap. Yeah. Uya taweka kamba na kuambie hap. Hap. Oh. Sasa uya kwa tayari. Ay, sasa hapa, uh -huh. uya naito shura. So, eh, yeah, tunatumia kwa kubeba sanduku. Yeah. So, awa ni kike, dume, ama ni mix? Tunatumia ndume. Mm. Sasa hizi ni sanduku, oh. beba shakula, yeah. naeka vikombe, oh. kitu kama pool box, sabu yeah. nyama, uh -huh. siyaribike, oh, naeka okay. hapo ndani. Tunaona bado ingesaka ingine. Yeah. Sasa, hii ni kama 60. Okay. So bado anetaji kama 70, 80. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Na hata kuwa sawa? Na hata kuwa sawa. Okay. A camel has some similarities to a car. Sometimes it just won't start. Na kama gari tu, you need to jump start it. Na jua tu kuwa na jumpers, we got another camel to tow it. An advantage camels have over cars is they fuel themselves. Ngamia one, ngamia two, and we are off. The visitors leave their fossil fuel vehicles for the green energy ones. Camel safari is usually a walking safari with the animals mainly used to carry the luggage and supplies. 
One reason why people prefer to walk rather than ride a camel is because of how they walk. They walk in a rocking motion known as pacing, in which the front and back legs on the same side move forward at the same time. And that can make one uncomfortable ride. Wacha tuseme, gami asio farasi. Within the cargo on the camels are the tents, water, cooking utensils, jiko, and everything you can think of your camping. This is one camel I would like to get lost with, the water tanker. Straight away, the advantage of using a camel is clear as we deviate from the road. Parks, reserves, and other conservation areas usually restrict off-road driving for visitors as it can be destructive to wildlife. Walking, though, is deemed safe and so with our environmentally friendly vehicles, we do not have to stick to the road. If we were in a car, we would have to drive around this small forest, but now we are cutting right through it. Whenever we are driving in a car, it is usually hard to get people off their devices, but on foot. Lazima watu waonge. Najutu kwa msitu, lazima ukairada. This is the best atmosphere as you get closer to nature and those you love. Hakuna raka, you might come to discover that the stranger who sleeps next to you on your bed is actually a nice person. Our course is a scenic one that takes us through this acacia forest and towards Lake Elementita. I'm really enjoying this game walk. Getting close to nature is a good thing. Lakini when it is nature wanting to get close to you, sometimes it can be a bit uncomfortable, even dangerous. There are some reasons to reconsider your route, especially if those reasons weigh about a ton and can easily take you out. The view of the lake and walking on the shore is to die for, but not today. This leads to what is called a CJ, Amokipenda Camel Jam. Unlike cars, camels can easily make a U-turn. It is deemed not safe enough to access the lake through this point and we turn back to find an alternative route. Monyanguvu Mpishe, or in this case, Usibishe. We thought we had gotten away from the buffaloes. Kumbe, simu zilipigo kombele, tukapata tumengojewa. Ama walituma kandege. This is the closest I have been to a buffalo while walking. Kwa gari yes ni mekua, but he, closest. The other buffaloes have no problem with us and quickly disperse. Lakini kuna ndume moja hapendi hii story yetu. Anadai kuna mtu kwa grupi yetu amemuita ngombe na sasa tutajua ngombe ni na ni nani. We all go to the right side of the camels using them as shields. And then he charges. Hey, hey, wait. The crew are experiencing dealing with such aggression and the situation is settled quickly. The buffalo decides we are not worth the trouble. It is probably saying, Ata sikuwa ni mekasirika. Just to be sure they don't gang up and decide to ambush us, we have some shots fired. And this shooter does not need a license. This is a whip. Like when you come a king guy to come a. So sauti yake, ni kama a rival. It's almost sauti a rival. Eh, ni meisikia. So sa hii ndiyo, jusa ni mwona amba ma buffalo na umeanza kuifanya hivo. So buffalo pia inatambua sauti a rival. Yeah, si inatambua. So hii sauti unojia inawasikia. Eh, na saa kwa, na hii naitu aje? Saa kwa kiswahili itaitua nini? Mcharisha. Mcharisha? Ndiyo hiyo. Mcharisha ina sound better than whip. Mcharisha. Hey, I decide to give it a try. And soon realize that maybe it should be licensed.
We are now at the shores of Lake Elementaita and can safely enjoy the walk here as there are no bushes. Uzuri wa camel safari za kuna haraka kufika. Unazamua kusimama popote. Satinga, now we are friends. We have to take a photo. Say cheese. Ungekamchini ndio ufit kwa photo. Okay, saba si landscape. Una smile. Your best smile. Pa. Jeez. But I can feel this distance between us. Ama hii ndio inaitwa long distance relationship. I wonder what he is thinking. Tinga. <laughs> We have now walked seven kilometers and are almost at the camp. I know. So we have just reached camp. It has taken us two hours and ten minutes. I've not even broken a sweat, let me tell you. Okay, I have. I have. We are like what? Mrefu. So this is Mrefu. So if Tinga doesn't befriend me, I have Mrefu here. This is our campsite and everything we need is on the camels. Time for the crew to get down, set up the camp, and build our mini village. Once unloaded, the camels are free of all the baggage and harnesses and are ready for refueling. They are free to roam about. Their fuel of choice? Cactus. It is in the height of the drought and there is little to eat, yet they are able to find something to nibble on. There is no hoarding or greed here. Everyone eats only what they need and yet we call them beasts. As the camels refuel, the camp is set up. Setting up camp may look easy, but life is not a time lapse. A lot of effort goes into it. Kuna vitu nataka kutik out of the box, yeah? Kama sijaji jengea nyumba, check. Specifically. Let me take you around through the camp. This is where I'm staying. Uh, Kishira, Jane, the rest of the crew, the different camps on that side and that side. Where we are going now, the kitchen. First of all, this place is quite empty. And in a few minutes, it's already a homestead. This is now how you get the true taste of tea. Nakamoto. Hapa kuna hapa ndio pali tutakata tukule. Hii ndio mess. Baada mbona hiyo itwa mess? You need to find out. Maybe ni kwa sababu watu walianza kukula pamoja Mesopotamia. I don't think so. Anyway, lakini hapa ndio watu wako will be a fireplace on that side in a matter of Minutes. What was empty is going to be our home for this evening. First time ever camping out like this. To make camp ndiyo amboseli, but to likula place. To likula apo kwa dining room. Asa apa tu kwa bush kabisa. Hmm? Bush. I'm really enjoying this.
The camels are then rounded up and tied for the night. Ngamia huwa fungwi kwa mti kama ngombe kwa vile anaweza kujinyonga. So, yeye hufungwa miguu. It is time to get the meal ready. The Bobon crew have a good meal prepared. Sam, tulisha pikiwa chai. Na wame tupikia chakula. Hapa kuna mapache pocho, kuna cherry, kuna mochimo, kuna ninch meat, kuna chapong, kuna kachibao, kuna ma, you know, ma things. Hata chumbi. Kuna chumbi huko, kwa bush. Nona, hini chakula ya bush. Nona, chakula ya bush. I enjoy a good meal along with good company. Good night. Good night, Kesha. Hapo bado tuko na few more minutes. When camping there is a desire to oversleep in the morning, but if you rise early, the reward is worth it. with the shallow services evaporation huwa itafanyika haraka mm. na inaisha inakauka mapema that's why you see now the white stuff okay. in it this signifies how salty the lake is kwa hivyo ilipo maji lipoisha ilibakisha chumvi nyuma so this is also good to other animals because yeah. they what come ya walambe akiwa na kuna ile deficiency ya chumvi watakuja yeah. watakuja walambe so yeah. it's a natural also mineral in yeah. the zero sana kwa kwa na nimeona flamingos yeah? Yeah. remember we have two species of uh, flamingos yeah. tuko na greater flamingo yeah. na lesser flamingo uh -huh. um, ecologically difference yao ni by physic, physical size yeah. the greater is yeah. by the name yeah. ni kubwa na yeah. mirefu kuliko nyingine mm. and they are paler in color mm. lesser yeah. ni um, tudogo mm. na they are more pink in color yeah. So it is literally what it, uh, you know uh, confirms they saying that you are what we you eat. Yeah. But they feed solely on uh, algae. Yeah. They get that plumage from the algae. Kwa sababu wao hula ile algae sozote wale lesser flamingos ndio wanakuwa zaidi wako pink than the So the smaller ones are, are pink. pink. Henry is an expert on birds, and this Nakuru resident came in fourth in a worldwide bird competition. Mali interesting yeah. Yeah. When they are mating, mating yeah. that's when during the breeding uh, time, yeah. we have what we call the mating ritual. Yeah. Unakuta migu, yeah. wanna dance, you know, they dance. Yeah. Some can do even what we call uh, the Jackson's moonwalking. Oh, moonwalking. Yeah, moonwalking yeah. <laughs> with stiff legs, yeah. wanna march more than 100 meters yeah. in in a big group. Yeah. Wanna rudy, then they they got that twisting of the the necks. Yeah. But one thing yeah. in that confusion, when you una una in confusion, how yeah. Japan monogamous? They monogamous. couple for life. Akuna di kwamba because it's a party, akuna, you party akuna, with anybody. Mpaka tu na ule. Yeah, do you? Uh, maybe maybe ndio tu malizana you borrow, uh, tu malizana na mambo ya pango account to kule algae yeah exactly ndio labda itakuwa ya itakuwa na hiyo effect effect ya kukufanya you stick to one stick to one they only drop one egg in a year so that's why it's so uh, crucial to let them have uh, their time in breeding yes because they only drop one yeah. egg yeah. per year and maybe if you disturb them they don't even breed but 
good enough is that they live up to 60 years okay. between 40 and 60 now yeah. 40 is the maximum 60 is a bonus yeah. which means that between 40 and 60 mm. there's no there'll be no breeding yeah and they reach maturity at about three to four years yeah. to six oh. so it's crucial that we give them enough room and time to yeah. do their own businesses yeah so some of these flamingos are older than most of you and were hatched in the 60s and 70s so Eshimu was there we prefer using the Campbell safaris yeah. of which yeah. the damage to the you know the smaller life yeah. is not more extensive like using the bigger the, uh, trucks the tires, yeah. yeah and yeah. when you're working with the camels mm. you remember the the guide is on foot yeah. so it might you know in some degree yeah. can spot where to not to uh, you yeah. know, pass through where we have lots of life and the damage may not be all that much yeah. you'll be enjoying it and you'll also you will have a full experience yes Yes. So yeah, next time try and mm -hmm. come for a camel, yeah, camel yeah. safari. Yeah, camel safari is better yeah. because they are also animals, you know. Yes. Yeah, and true. they don't animals do not much kill others. <laughs> next week we continue our journey around Elementita on camels. We explore more of Lake Elementaita. We get to see new life start. We get a close-up look at one of the biggest eagles in Africa. And we get to the peak of our journey.